Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Um, last week I did a really really cool piece called Riot in the Heart and then we did a small 24 by 24 which I had a lot of fun with both of which were inspired by Kellen Schaub. Um, and I want to do another one tonight because it was a lot of fun. Um, HOA has protective shielding. <laughs> around this, the back of the table so that he doesn't get splashed this time. But I don't think we're gonna make as much of a mess. This is only a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. And I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with one of my colors. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you the colors really fast because they're really, really pretty. Let me push that out of the way. Okay, the first one we're using is Golden's Payne's Gray beautiful deep dark sultry gorgeousness that I love uh, everything is mixed with Golden's heavy gel gloss and my Floetrol recipe um, that's about a four to one or a three to one ratio depending on how paint how thick you like your paint um, this is 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics beautiful then we have a lovely color I'm super excited about this one one of these wonderful, wonderful ladies from Australia gave me this at Porcon. This is Matisse Southern Ocean Blue and is gorgeous. I'm so sorry, I cannot remember your name, but thank you so much for this. I love it and it, it means a lot to me. So thank you so much, you're awesome. So that's Matisse Southern Ocean Blue. Beautiful color, very reminiscent of Golden's Turquoise Thalo. So if you can't find the Matisse, Golden's Turquoise Thalo, or if you're looking for a more Affordable option, perhaps Amsterdam's greenish blue is very, very similar to that. Also, um, next one we have here started off as Treasure Gold Folk Art Treasure Gold series in aquamarine, and I did add a tiny bit of a green I have to it just to brighten it up a little bit and turn it more green than blue because I want this to pair, I want these two to go together, and there's more contrast now. So, I'm very happy about that one. Down. And then we have another new Foco Treasure Gold that I've never used before. This one is Purple Topaz, which is really pretty. It's a beautiful color. It's kind of soft and pearly, but pretty shimmery. Gorgeous stuff. My paint is not very thick tonight. Okay. And I'm using this one because I want to use this one. <laughs> this is my Golden's Permanent Violet Dark, which I love. You guys know that but I think these two are gonna be really beautiful together and then I also have some Amsterdam titanium white and I also have titanium white for my base coat color so let's actually get started and we're going to this time I'm not going to forget to wreck it like I did the first time <laughs> so we're gonna take our white base coat and we're gonna pour ourselves a generous puddle right in the middle and then I'm gonna add some colors to this and we're gonna do some cool stuff, I hope. Okay, so actually what I wanna do is I wanna do the background in the blues and that one green. So I'm gonna do some puddles of paint. And you notice how they're overlapping each other a little bit. And I'm doing that intentionally because I want to wreck it and I want to have the colors that are underneath coming up. Okay, I'm not going to use the two purples right now. We're going to use those later on. Maybe. Okay, but I'm going to take a palette knife. This is the fun part. Let's turn this this way. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. We're going to do yes, some, some wrecks in through here. And I'm trying to bring up, see like in here, we brought up some of the other colors from the bottom. Let's get some gold going in there. Okay. Maybe one or two more through the paint. Okay. All right. That's not quite what I wanted, but I do want to do something. This is something that I saw Callan Shaw doing because she had a lot more paint on here than I did. But okay, we'll just we're gonna we're gonna put our flow extender around here first. 
and if this doesn't work out how I wanted, then we're gonna do the other thing. <laughs> Which looks like a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys have seen his butterfly series are awesome. Okay, let's move these over. Put this to the center of the table. Alrighty, and we're going to spin this out. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. I should have taken my shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already had paint on them anyway, so it's okay. Okay. I swear I, swear I felt a drop hit me. You did not. But it's not possible. <laughs> it's like it's that phantom leg thing. There you go. Okay, we're going to spin this one more time. Ready, honey? Uh-huh. Maybe you're feeling it hit me. <laughs> <laughs> We share a brain most of the yeah, time. Yeah, so. it's true. One brain. Okay. This is looking cool. Um, it's not quite what I wanted. So I'm actually going to put some more white in the center. And this is okay. This is perfectly all right. I'm excited about this. We're going to put some more Payne's Gray in there. Basically, we're gonna kind of do this again. But there's something specific that I wanna do that I saw Callan doing that looked like so much fun. Not as much gold this time. And that beautiful turquoise. Okay. I don't know if I have the guts to do it. Okay, don't freak out on me. <laughs> Why have I ever? No, not you, them. <laughs> Maybe not as much as we did last time. Are you ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's pretty cool looking. Oop. I got some air time. <laughs> okay. That's cool. See how it's bringing up the white that's on the bottom? Okay, I like this better. I don't know if I can do the thing that I wanted to do or not. Okay, we're going to try it. Okay, so... At one point, I was watching one of Callan's videos, and he repours a lot more frequently than I do. I just like to put that out there in the universe. But at one point, he had a lot of paint on the canvas, and he literally just took his hands and, like, pushed it into the shape that he wanted. And that was actually kind of really fun. So I'm not unhappy that I did that. I'm going to wipe my hands off, though. I hope that that doesn't cause any issues on the sides, but we're going to spin this and we're going to see. We have plenty of paint left if we have to do it again. So we're going to give this a spin. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, I know. Stand this up for a second and just kind of tilt it a little bit this way. And I want to make sure that that area is covered. on the spinner again, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I am gonna put it back on there for a second, but that's because I see something right here. A bit of dried paint. Yeah. Okay. Let's give this another spin. Ready, honey? Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Pretty pinky over there. Yeah, it is pretty pinky over here, but this is okay. This is actually looking really neat. What do you think, honey? Yep. Yeah, I do. I like the way those cells. Yeah, look, close look, to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they look really, really cool. So, he, and I love what the gold is doing in here with that aquamarine green color that we had. That Matisse blue is really, really beautiful. So, here's my question to you. I did mix up those two purples with the intention of doing a yeet, but do you think we need one? And do you think we should just leave it like this? Yeah. I don't think a yeet's gonna add anything, do you? Good. I mean, I do like this. I like it a lot, actually. I love what's happening in here. Like, this line is really pretty. And the gold is like doing these gorgeous, very blingy things here on the edges with the white. That's awesome. This is cool. I don't know if I want to do anything else to it. I think I'm done. I'm going to torch it. I mean, those are technically yeets because you yeeted the paint when it was in the middle. No, that's not a yeet. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. So you still flung. <laughs> yeah, I guess there were. Okay. Ninja swipe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like this. I think this actually looks yeah. really, really cool. So we're going to leave this one like this. Look at these cool little cells coming up in that purple. But those cells right there and that corner is just really pretty this is beautiful too i love the panes with that matisse southern ocean blue is very very pretty almost wish this little bit was going off the edge here but i'm not going to stress about it this looks cool, pretty cool though you sure we don't need one yeet right through the middle it sounds like you're trying to talk me into it no i'm i'm i don't know i like it but go ahead go for the yeet no and, i don't, and, and I don't think i want element. to it's a good, no if you get it's a good okay. twist on it I don't think I want to. Okay, so I'm happy with this. I love the way this is looking. The colors are beautiful. The gold is doing amazing things in here, blinging amazingly beautifully. So I'm happy with this. I will show you guys this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you haven't given Kellen's techniques a try, please do go check him out on Instagram at Kellen Shop because he is amazing and his stuff is so inspiring and just mesmerizing to watch. So. This was cool. We'll be right back with the dry results. So this is a few days later now. It is totally dry. Um, in case you were wondering, we actually shot this video and a couple more before HOA had his surgery. So <laughs> just in case you were wondering, uh, this one came out pretty neat. I love this. I like this piece a lot. I think it's gorgeous. I love the Payne's Gray in here and I love it with that Southern Ocean Blue from Matisse. And I love these cells. You can you see these? Look how cool that is. It's kind of like this like, gradient ombre sort of lacing on top of there came out really beautiful the 24 karat gold reacted so beautifully with this set of colors i'm just so excited when i was watching it while it was drying this little corner up here kept blinging at me the light kept hitting it picking it up but it was just so gorgeous i was like wow that's why we use the 24 karat gold all the time but it's just really, really pretty. Some beautiful stuff happening. Um, I did not use the two pink ones that uh, 
Violet Topaz from Folk Art Treasure Gold and the Permanent Violet Dark. I just didn't feel like this one needed a yeet on top of it. I really like it how it is. I love the cells. There's a fly on my painting. This part right here is so pretty. I love them cells. Really pretty stuff. The pain gray is amazing. There's the Southern Ocean Blue with a little bit with the 24 karat gold under it. And then you see as we get higher up, it gets darker. This is kind of a trip, this like purple sort of line. The cell's coming up in <laughs> Really pretty. Hello, Gail. Okay. She's going to try to blow the painting off the easel. I know it. <laughs> this turned out really, really fun. I like this one a lot. I like that uh, sort of squish technique that Callan did. That was fun. I would like to play with that more. I think I need probably a lot more paint on the canvas to do that. This was a lot of fun. I really like this piece a lot. Thank you so much to Kellen Schaub for all his inspiration and amazing artwork. It's really wonderful to watch him work and just makes you feel so free and happy for me anyway. So this was cool. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you real soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.